And now we're on to modeling physical systems. We're not going to spend as much time on this, but I wanted to cover just the basics of modeling a physical system. So we're actually going to go and look at an example real quick, and then we'll come back to the board to model that system. And here is our system that we're going to analyze. Yes, it is Valerie uh, attached with a rubber band that we're going to pretend is a spring. I couldn't find a spring. Attached to a box of Hyunmin Nokcha, which is a delicious uh, brown rice green tea. It's my favorite. And we're going to assume that this, this box of Hyunmin Nokcha is unmovable, so it uh, will not move. And that Valerie is uh, going to be our object here. So we're actually going to model the system, believe it or not. And we're going to start with, well, how can we model this system? Well, we know that Valerie has a mass, so we're going to call that M. OK, so she has a mass of M. And well, she's standing in a certain position, so we can actually model that position as a variable. So we're going to say where she is, this neutral position where she's standing right now is going to be x. And it d can change over time, right? She could move forward or backwards, so we're going to call that x of t. And we have to define our axes. So if she moves forward, we're going to call that positive. So this is the zero point. And if she moves backwards, we're going to call that negative. OK, great. So we have you know, uh, a basic dimensions and some parameters uh, defined here. What kind of forces are acting on this system? Well, we have Valerie herself, or maybe me. I could be an input. And she would maybe want to move forward, so she would be able to exert a force moving. Uh, we're going to define it in the forward direction. So we're going to call that uh, u of t. So that's our input to our system here. But when she tries to move forward, there is some other forces in play here. So we have this rubber band that is acting as a spring. And when she moves forward, that will push back on her. So if we remember the equation for a spring, we can say that the force, and we'll call this of the spring, is equal to uh, some coefficient times the position, so x. And the direction is important here. So is this going to be a positive or a negative? And what we can do is, well, if x is positive, so she's moving in the positive direction, the force will actually be in this direction, which in our axis is negative. So we are going to put a negative here. And we're going to assume that this coefficient is a positive value. So this would be the force equation for the spring. Well, there's one more force that we can consider. This actually is not frictionless. So there is friction uh, to consider, which I believe the book uses viscous friction, so the same thing. But what we can do is we know that friction depends on the velocity. And so our equation for friction, we're going to call it f of fr, is going to be equal to, well, it depends on x dot, so that's the velocity, right? The derivative of the position is velocity. And we need to have some coefficient. I'm going to use b here. Uh, the book uses. Uh, f of v, but I'm just going to use uh, b. And the direction here matters too. So if we're accelerating in the positive direction, our friction is going to be negative. So we actually need a negative here as well. So these are the basic forces that are acting upon our system here. And we're going to go back up to the board and use these equations to actually drive a transfer function. I've written all the equations that we just talked about, we've modeled in our system on the board. So we have our input, which is our input force, and our spring constant, so the force due to the spring that's holding Valerie back, and then the force of friction. Okay, so we have some forces, we kind of understand the dynamics that are happening in the, in the system. And we defined x as the position of Valerie. And we have an input clearly stated here, but what's our output? Well, we care about, we want to see how the, her position changes. So we're going to denote this 
x of t as the output. Okay, so now we have an input and an output, and we need to figure out how to derive the transfer function. Well, we're missing one key thing here, is how do these forces relate to each other? Well, let's think back to the basic uh, fundamental equation. It's oh, a bug. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll think back to F equals MA, so our Newton laws. F equals MA. M is the mass of Valerie. We know that. No problem. F, well, we, we know the forces. We just outline them. And really, the force acting on Valerie is the input plus the spring plus the force of friction. So let's add those all up here. So we'll do u of t minus k x of t. Oh, no. x of t minus bx, the derivative, x dot of t. So those are our forces summed up. We know m, but what about a? Well, a is the acceleration, which is the double derivative of the position. So we can rewrite a as x double dot of t. So now we have a very nice expression for our system in terms of our input u and our output x. So now we can take our Laplace transform and derive the transfer function. Get u of s minus k, x of s, minus b, the derivative now, so s, and then x of s, equals, so m, our mass, now we're taking the double derivative, we'll plot transform, so we'll do s squared, x of s. So we have some terms, let's separate things and put everything on one side, so we'll put the u's on the left side, u of s is on this side. And then we'll move all of these over there. So it'll be an x of s. And we'll start with this one. So m s squared plus this plus this. Okay, so it's looking good. Now let's put it in our transfer function form. So the transfer function of the plant, our output is x of s over our input u of s. Alright, so if we move this around again, we get 1 over this value. And that works out very nicely for us. So this is our transfer function for our Valerie attached to a Hinmi Nokcha box system. There you have it. Also, I misspoke earlier, the, we're using friction here, the book uses viscous damping, which is, friction is just a form of that, so just wanted to clarify.